Guys! I was gonna talk to the little cactus. I was gonna do the world according to the little cactus. But he's not here! He's not here! Where'd he go? What? His pot is empty! Somebody done stole my cactus! What happened here? Hey! Hey! Do you guys know where my cactus is? Huh? My broom. What? Uh, 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 ah! It's gone! My broom's gone! Daddy's broom. Okay. Well, in the last episode, I talked about how you had like 18. I guess not. <laughs> I guess it just happens at some point. So here it is. It's happening now. Gone? I, I bet you just lost it. Wait a second. How could I lose a big broom like that? Come on, Lisa. That broom is a memento of Dad. Oh, there's a little cactus. Um. I mean. Uh. What? The cactus walks. Oh no. Oh no. Tragedy in our house. Our, our children are upset. Our adopted children are upset. I can't cast spells anymore. Ah well. Uh, Dad wasn't a good magician anyway. Alright, what do we got up here? Little cactus, did you do something? Did you do something? Did you do something, little cactus? Threw away old broom. Junkyard. Oh. Well, I guess we can get this out of the way. Grab bashing? <laughs> do the actual one. Lisa ran away! She heard about the cactus! We gotta follow her! Come on! Alright. I'm in the middle of a thing, though, so hang on. <laughs> I have, I have like a YouTube show and I gotta do this, so we gotta look at this now. Hang on. <laughs> Summer loving, where is it there? Clobbering crabs at the beach. It sounds like fun, but I feel bad for the crabs. Surprise lesson of the day, penguins can fall in love. They sure can. And they can come and live at your house if you're better at smashing crabs. Unfortunately, I'm terrible at it. Boo. Alright, well, so we have finally reached the time-sensitive mission I was talking about. It is this one, Daddy's Broom. In order to get it, you have to... You have to complete Little Sorcerers, which you get pretty much automatically, um, and the Infernal Doll before you complete 18 missions. And I guess it has a chance to show up. When I was playing on my, on my other game... Um, it didn't show up until I got to 18, so maybe they changed that? I'm not really sure, but I wasn't expecting it to happen already. Um, but yeah, so now we go to the junkyard to try to find Lisa's broom. And Lisa, for that matter. I saw a thorny thing with a broom walk deep inside. Okay, so once again, we're, do we're doing the same thing we did with Infernal Doll. We're just following a path. Pretty much, actually, I think it's the same path, now that I think about it. Um... Except the, the dolls that are relevant to your quest actually say things related to the little cactus. So. I saw a weird creature carrying a broom bigger than itself. It was green and it had lots of thorns. That feels very much like a Carmen Sandiego-esque uh, response that that teddy bear gave me. Very strange. So now we are part of Acme, the Acme Detective Agency. That's good to know. That was scary. I saw a cactus wielding a bro heavy broom and saying strange words. It sounded like Lisa Lisa. So yeah, we're still following our cactus. The little cactus just thought he was helping. He thought he was clearing out clutter. You know, he thought it was an old broom that nobody needed, so he just threw it away. Turns out it was a moment. I got eaten! <laughs> None of that, please. A bit of, a bit of this. Aha! Wind! I am not a powerful sorcerer. I need to be able to make my own weapons. And I still cannot. That was one of the things, like I mentioned in the last episode, that I wanted to do a bunch of a uh, bunch of the creation missions. One of them is being able to make your own spells. I want that. My spells are garbage right now. Garbage right now. 
the Acropolis of Trash. Once again, we go through here. Going up here. Going up here. Pathway of garbage. It's a bunch of toys. Yeah, another thing that... <laughs> keep talking about the remake, because I've been playing it. That, that's It's on my mind, I've been playing it. You can really tell... Like, the graphics are higher resolution, so you can see, like, little fine details in these that you missed out on because it was, like, lower resolution. So, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that cactuses could move. You learn something new every day. Sure can, I, I guess. <laughs> Certain cacti can move. And then there's Moldy Goo! Moldy Goo! A bashing weapon does not seem like a good plan against... A, a gelatinous cube or a gelatinous gelatin 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 it's dead Kill it. gave me rust it's a rust slime what is that thing called there's a type of there's a type of monster in D and D that's like absolutely awful, and it's like a slime that's made of rust. And if it touches you, your weapons rust, and it sucks, dude. I haven't learned any new skills with my uh, staff yet. Sucks. Oh, it's Lisa, at the heap of junk, huh? It's over there. Oh no, an earthquake. Ah! Lisa! What? Ah. Well, watch out, there's something here! Right, we gotta get out of here. I'm scared. All the junk here, like, hates people. I can't run anymore. Ah! Uh, Lisa! Did you forget who I am? I'm Bud the Malignant, son of Master Magician Hain! I got this thing! I got it! Oh crap! It's broke! Uh, um... But Dad was a dropout of Academy Magic. He was so bad he was only accepted in Domino. We're doomed. Lisa, don't you remember what Dad always told us? Um... He who fights and runs away lives to see the light of, light of another day? That's it! Cowardice is the better part of valor? Exactly! So... I'd rather live as a coward than die as a hero. Heroes there are many, but there there is but one father of Bud and Lisa! Okay. Bud! Lisa, run! Lisa, you just stay right there. I'll take care of this. But I'll get... My boss to help first. Boss, please help. Always oh, a spooky monster. It's a this. Th He's kind of adorable. Oh, I kind of want to hug him. I want a plushie of this. How cute he is. Whack. Yeah, he's adorable. Lunge. No, no, but that wasn't lunge. Lunge. No. I want the lunge. Ow. Lunge. Lunge. Are you going to do anything, bud? <laughs> he really is doing the whole cowardice of the better part of Valor thing over there. He ain't doing anything. He's just hanging out. Do something, bud. Jeez. Well, now you're tiny, so I guess you did do something. You shrank. <laughs> this guy is hitting real hard. How dangerous are you? That was the other thing I was surprised about in uh, my other playthrough, is that, like, I am not gaining levels fast at all in that one. Like, I was actually lower leveled than Bud and Lisa for a good long, ma like, while in the, po the uh, playthrough. Alright, I do something, Bud. <laughs> you said you'd save your sister. Do something. I need new armor. Am I still wearing the basic armor I got from the beginning of the game? I think I am, actually. Yeah, my health! Alright, I'm gonna stand here for a little bit. 
I'm gonna first person shooter it for a little bit and just re recover my HP. You do. I I I'm gonna do backflips over here. <laughs> I'm gonna do backflips to get my health back. Backflip. 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 You got it, bud. Just keep going. You're doing it. You're doing great, buddy. This sucks, man. This is why I usually have the crouch ability anytime I fight a boss. Because, like, crouch, uh, I, I, I don't remember if I talked about it. it. It allows you to recover your HP um, faster, but you take more damage while you're doing it. So you just kind of have to, like, move yourself away from the enemy and make sure you're safe before you do it. Um, it works fine. Ooh, nice block, dude. Did you see that? Came in for my, like, super jump attack, and he was just like, block! Oh, yeah, take him out. Get him. Oh, bad luck, bud. Yeah, bud did it! Way to go, man. Did that final hit. So good. Helping your sister out. What a bro. Literally. Thanks, bud. I'm saved. I can't remember what her voice is. We did it! Uh, uh... Oh, she's sad. D don't worry. I I'll, I'll fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> And that's Daddy's Broom. All right. So now that we have finished that, um, there are co so there aren't too many uh, missable missions in this game. There are a couple. Uh, most of them, the way you would miss them is by doing something that like like doing something in the mission that fails them. Um, there are very few that are failed by conditional stuff, but there are a couple. So. Still a couple of things I have to worry, worry about, for, but we will be much more free in terms of what we can do now. So, yay for that. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I am the Moy Chicken, this has been The Legend of Mana, and thanks for stopping by. <laughs>